Y'all check this video out with me. Check it out with me. That's exactly why I said the terrorists have nothing to do with Islam. But when you start studying the texts themselves, when you start looking at the Quran, and you start looking at the Hadith, you start looking at the Sira literature, whether it be Sira Maghazi or what have you, you will find violence woven into the very traditions of Islam. The core traditions, not peripheral traditions, the Quran and the Hadith, foundational pillars of Sharia. Now, what is happening today? Why are people getting radicalized in various pockets around the world? Why are people leaving Canada to go fight for ISIS? Why are people leaving America to go fight for ISIS? Right now, at, at the most conservative count, we have over 5,000 non-Easterners fighting part, for though, ISIS. He, he, there he are really more British right, citizens man. fighting, just, British citizens who are Muslims in, fighting man. for Listen ISIS than part, fighting for the British. Wanted, Why? How do we explain this? Right. Are they all stupid? Are they all demonic? No, let's not demonize people like that. Let's try to understand their reasoning. Every single one of them gives you their reasoning very clearly. I remember when these three Bethnal Green girls, um, who, Bethnal Green's a city in England, um, who were at the top of their class, they were the most popular girls, they wore their hijabs. Um, you can still see their Twitter accounts, by the way. Uh, they, they were very devout in their Islamic faith. They told their parents that they were going out for an outing. They managed to escape to Syria through Turkey. Their parents couldn't understand what happened. You know, their parents didn't, you know, of course didn't support terrorism. They said, what happened to our daughters? Now, the media, of course, is, it tends to lean on the compassionate side. Uh, tends to, not always. Um, and so they're, they're willing to say, oh, those girls were brainwashed. They were brainwashed by recruiters. Uh, they went from being the smartest girls in their class to complete zombies, and they just were brainwashed. That's not what the girls say. The girls said to their parents, Mom, Dad, if only you knew what Islam actually teaches, then you would understand. How can they say that? Girls are at the top of their class. What did Osama bin Laden say in 1999, before the Twin Towers were attacked, when he was having a, an interview with an ABC reporter? He said, be ready, we're coming for America. We're going to bring down those towers for no other reason than for the defense of Islam. How does that work? What, what's the connection? Is he just an idiot? No. By the way, you might be like, why is he telling me some of these names? I'm never going to remember these names. Uh, the other day, um, Boko Haram uh, executed uh, a bus full of people. Uh, and in order to test whether someone was Muslim or not, they said, what was Muhammad's mother's name? And if they knew it was Amina, they'd let them off the hook. So Amina, that's, that's Muhammad's mother's name. So uh, Muhammad comes into Medina and gets full control over the city from the get-go. The first time, now, the first 13 years, Muhammad had a total of about 100 to 115 followers. That was it. For the first 13 years, that's how many followers he had. Now he has a fighting force in Medina. Now he can fight. Within the first year of him being in Medina, he starts launching raids on caravans. He starts telling Muslims to attack passing merchants because there was a trade route that passed close by. One of these attacks led to the Battle of Badr, the first major battle that Muslims fought. It was an offensive attack that led to the first major battle between the Meccans and the, and the Medinans. I had always been taught that Muhammad only ever fought defensively. It's not what the records show. By the way, Surah 8 is all about that. Uh, and it actually says that Allah sent you out, Muhammad, to fight against the caravan. And when you got there, you saw an army. You wanted to attack the weaker, the, the caravan, but Allah guided you to attack the army. So this is recorded in the Quran, but uh, like I said, when I was Muslim, I just recited the Quran in Arabic. I didn't know how to interpret it. So I never actually, even though I recited the Quran seven times as a Muslim, I had never actually read this stuff and understood it.